بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از دی فورس نیوز آن نائنٹین فیبروری نیوز پیپر فرنٹ پیج ڈان ای سی پی کمپلیٹ سیکیورٹی آف سینٹ نومینیشنس Uh, in e- ECP completes the scrutiny of the Senate uh, nominations. Uh, technocrats from Punjab, Balochistan are likely to return unopposed. Unopposed 141 stay in race after rejection, withdrawal of 28 papers, pervades receipts, the paper rejected. And by Amir Vaseem, Islamabad, two technocrats, each from Punjab and Balochistan, are set and to be elected unopposed as the Election Commission of Pakistan, ECP, on Thursday, completed the process of scrutiny of nomination papers filed by candidates from all over the country to contest. For 48 seats of the Senate, for which polling would be held on March 3. The statistical data shows that the ECP had received a total of 170 nomination papers. I eight rejected 25 of them on uh, different grounds, surveyed as three candidates have been thrown from the race since the candidature of Mushahidullah Khan of the PMLN has become in in fructuous after his death, the total number of valid nomination papers with the ECP is now 141. When the opposition parties which have decided to jointly contest the elections from the platform of the Pakistan Democratic Movement, PDM, suffered a setback due to rejection of the nomination papers of a sitting PMLN senator, and a former Information Minister Pervez Rashid in Lahore. It received a uh, success in Islamabad where the returning officer accepted the nomination papers of PPP's Sayyid Yusuf, Yusuf Raza Gilani for general seat and rejected the objections to his candidature that had been filed by a covering candidate for federal minister for finance and revenue, Dr. Abdul Hafiz Sheikh, who is a nominee of the ruling Pakistan Tariq in South PTI. In Lahore, the returning officer rejected the nomination papers of Mr. Rashid over his failure to clear outstanding views of the Punjab House in Islamabad, where he had been staying for, uh, from time to time for the last for the past 10 years. Refuting the charges, Mr. Rashid announced that uh, he would challenge the rejection of his papers before the election tribunal. Uh, Mr. Rashid told the media that uh, bogus claims of booking of Punjab house rooms had been created against him to keep him out of the Senate race. He claimed that he had carried cash to pay for these bogus bills, worth rupees 9.5 million, but no Punjab house official was available to receive it from him. Meanwhile, PMLN's Azam Nazi Tarar and PTI's Sayyid Ali Zafar are said to be elected unopposed against two seats of technocrats from Punjab after withdrawal of papers by a third candidate, Ataullah Khan. The candidate withdrew from the race after objections were raised that he had been serving as an engineering contractor for some government projects and had not completed the two-year mandatory break period to qualify for contesting for a public office. 
party women seats from Punjab. There are three candidates in the run. They are Sadia Abbasi and Saira Afzal Tarar of the PMLN and Zarka Soharwardi of the PTI. Similarly, in Balochistan, Saeed Ahmed Hashmi of the Balochistan Awami Party, BAP, and um, Kamran Amurtaza of the Jamiyat Ulmai Islam, JUI, are said to return unopposed on the two technocrat seats from the province if things go according to the plan. As many as eight candidates had submitted papers to contest for the two technocrat seats from the province. However, after rejection of the papers of five candidates, now three candidates have been left in the race. Besides Mr. Hashmi and Mr. Murtaza Sajid Tarin uh, of the Balochistan National Party Mangal, BNP, has also filed the papers for the technocrat seats. However, according to the agreed seat adjustment formula, Mr. Tarin will withdraw his nomination papers and would contest on a general seat for which his nomination papers have been accepted. If the election tribunal does not accept the papers of the rejected candidates, Mr. Hashmi and Mr. Mursasa would be elected unopposed. A total of 51 candidates had submitted to their nomination papers for the 12 seats in the Senate election from Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, with 27 of them belonging to the ruling PTI. However, the ECP rejected nomination papers of 11 candidates on different grounds, having 40 candidates in the race. Senator Sajid Hussain Turi, uh, presently, PTI's chief whip in the upper house is among those who, whose papers were rejected for the general seat. An ECP spokesperson said Mr. Thuri uh, did not appear before the commission, which led to his disqualification. Mr. Thuri later told Don that he did not pursue his nomination papers. Another PTI candidate, Rangseb Khan, also did not appear before the returning officer, while Najab Gul's papers were rejected for lacking um, proposer and a seconder. On women seats, four of seven PTI ticket holders did not appear before the returning officer, which led to the rejection of their papers. Mr. On a technocrat seat, candidatures of PTI ticket aspirant Hamidul Haq, JUIF's uh, Zuhair Ali, PMLN, Rihan Alam, and independence candidate Nasrullah Khan were rejected for lacking the required experience. In Islamabad, the nomination papers of former Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Gilani were accepted after the com commission rejected the objection of his um, papers that had been raised by a PTI-backed candidate Farid Rahman, who is actually the covering candidate for the for Federal Finance Minister Dr. Sheikh. The PTI's candidate had claimed that Mr. Gilani had concealed his conviction in the nomination papers and that he had been disqualified for life from contesting the elections to the parliament. The commission, however, rejected the objection, quoting Article 63 of the Constitution, according to which the bar was only for a period of five years. PPP Chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari and JUIF Chief Maulana Fadlur Rahman talked to Mr. Gilani over telephone and congratulated him on acceptance of his nomination papers. A one-to-one -one contest between PTI's Dr. Hafiz Sheikh 
and the former prime minister mr gilani is expected to expected on the only general seat from the capital dr sheikh who is presently serving in the federal cabinet as finance minister had previously served in the same position when mr gilani was the prime minister the competition between mr gilani and mr sheikh i has um, acquired a uh, great um, significance uh, because of the party position in the national assembly uh, where the ruling alliance has a majority of just 20 votes the pdm uh, leadership believes that mr gilani can secure the seat if he runs his uh, campaign seriously as there are reports that many in the ruling alliance are unhappy over the leadership's decision to award the ticket to Mr. Sheikh, who is considered an outsider and known as parachuter in the PTI ranks. In Karachi, the ECP approved nomination papers of a total of 35 candidates for 11 seats in three different categories. The PPP led the number of nominations with 14 nominees, followed by PTI with 12 and MQM Pakistan with 10 nominations. According to the amended election schedule, appeals against acceptance or rejection of nomination papers will be filed on February 19 and 20 and will be decided on February 22 and 23. Meanwhile, the Commission has fined eight parliament parliamentarians for violating the code of conduct in the bypolls for NA75 CL code. Amjad Mahmood in Lahore, Mansoor Ali in Peshawar, Salim Shahid in Quetta, and Imran Ayub in Karachi also contributed to this report. And in the end, the formal request, if you have not yet, please subscribe our channel and press the like and bell button to get the press from us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.